So far in this Streaming with ProPresenter 7 series, we have formatted excellent sermon note slides using the sermon slide guidelines outlined in the previous video. Now we're going to set up sermon-specific audience looks to choose the appropriate theme for each output. So once ProPresenter 7 is configured, we'll then work through the process from start to finish to setting up our sermon notes. To get started, let's pick the four designs that we're going to be using as our sermon look outputs. We need four designs, full screen notes, full screen scriptures, lower third notes, lower third scriptures. So the easiest way to get these slides is going to be to use the themes that come with ProPresenter 7. These can be found in a fresh install of ProPresenter. Click More Theme Editor. Then in the top left, use the drop downs to navigate between folders. If you don't see these in the drop downs, you can re-download them from the website. Here I have a pack called Vibing Pixels, red and orange, where I see a bunch of super cool designs. I'm going to choose four of these and copy and paste them into a themes folder I created called Sermon Themes. We can also create our own theme designs or purchase them from online. I'm going to create a new slide called Big Boy here inside of my Sermon Themes. The text box on this slide will mostly fill the slide and I'm going to set the text scaling to well, actually, I'm going to leave that alone because I'm going to, I don't want the size of the text on the slide to vary in sizes. So I'm just going to set it to about 80 to 100. I want it to be big, but not too big. On my Mac, inside of Documents, ProPresenter, Themes, I'll add any theme I download or purchase inside of this folder. In Pro 7, I'll create a new theme, and I'm going to call this The Way Dot Movement. Now, it would be nice to have folders inside this one, but Pro 7 doesn't allow that. Specifically, I want to move my sermon themes and my worship themes to this subfolder. I can do this, though, inside of my Documents folder. I can see the new theme that I just created. So now I'll drag the sermon theme and the worship themes folders inside of that folder that I just created. If you make a new file inside of the Documents folder and not inside of ProPresenter, you're going to need to add these two files into that folder to make them active inside of ProPresenter. These slide designs I picked are great, but I need to make a couple of changes to them. And also, if you want to make any changes like color on the background, you can do that right here in the theme editor. In case you don't remember the last video, Sermon Slide Guideline number three says that we should set the scripture text box in the theme as linked text. I'll do that now. I'll select the scripture text box and activate linked text. Now I'll select slide label and current slide. We also need to do this in the other scripture theme slide. Now when we display the sermon notes on slides with this theme active, the slides label will automatically be displayed in this text box. Now we can close out the theme editor and switch over to the looks editor. Here we need to create three sermon specific looks. Number one, sermon notes. Number two, sermon scripture. And number three, sermon full. Well, here I am inside of the looks editor and I'm going to start applying the themes that we created to the presets that we have created for our sermon slides. So I'm going to start with sermon notes and on our main output, I'm going to go into presentation and I'm going to select our theme to be the main out notes. So let's go down to sermon themes main out notes and then we're going to have stream out notes as well sermon stream out notes great so now i'll go over to scripture and i'll do the same thing main out scripture main out scripture and main out scripture lower thirds or stream out scripture and stream out scripture and stream out scripture Cool, so for full, that's gonna look a little different. Uh, this is the look that's gonna get applied to any slide that has a full screen graphic or video. This way it will be displaying on the output with the same layout as on the operator screen. So before we close the looks window, I wanna tie all of this together and make sure we really understand what is happening here. Looks allow us to send specific content to specific outputs in Pro 7. So let's look at this uh, sermon full, for example. On the right are all the audience outputs that are set up in Pro 7. So you might have more than me or less than me. Just so you know, these audience screens are set up on the Configure Screens page. Go to Screens, Configure Screens. There you can set up your outputs. So I have two outputs set up, my main out and my stream out. And in the Looks Editor, we can uncheck any layer we don't want to send to any of these outputs. We can also apply specific themes to be used by each output, which is what we just did here for the sermon looks. On the left side, we can create unlimited of these presets. Each allow us to display different output settings. So to apply an audience look, we simply right click on a slide, go to add action, audience look, and then select the audience look we want to 
we want to select. A quicker and easier way to do this is to create macros which contain these audience looks and then just drag and drop macros to the slides. So down in the bottom right is the macro editor and I'm gonna create three new macros, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna label these. First of all, I'm gonna put the word look in there and then I'm gonna call it which look it is. And the purpose of this is to distinguish which macro is which. So I wanna know is the macro a look macro or is it gonna change the lighting scene? Very important, very important. In a future update, we're gonna have the ability to group macros, I do believe, but currently we don't have that feature, so we're just gonna to have to do this manually. Okay, so now I can rename the second one. Okay, so all three of our macros have been set. Now we can right click on them, add action, audience look, sermon notes. So it's the same process as before, but now we only have to do it once. Then we can easily drag and drop our macros to the slides, which allow us for a super easy setup. As an example, here I have a single slide with text from Matthew 8:24. I'll right click on the slide, select the label and edit. Then type in the text for Matthew 8:24. The slide label has now been set to the scripture reference, and when I apply the look sermon scripture macro, you can see that each screen gets its own format. Now, if I apply a background, you'll see that that'll show up on the stream lower third, which is not what we want. So what I'm gonna do is go into the looks editor and uncheck the media button on the stream out layer. And this will need to be done for both the scripture and the notes. Well, everything is now set up, so I think we can go ahead and begin setting up our sermon notes from start to finish. So here is the sermon notes document. This is a PDF file that we're gonna be using to set up these sermon notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and Command A to select everything, and then I'm gonna hit Command C to copy everything. And now we can go, into, go over to ProPresenter, hit File, Import, Text from Clipboard. We're gonna keep our breaks and everything here, and then hit Edit. Okay, so step number one, after I make this a bit bigger, is we are going to import our text. We just did that. And now we're gonna go ahead and split everything into slides, but we're not yet gonna split it into perverse slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this text at the top because I just want one slide here at the beginning. Okay, so this is a uh, scripture, so we can put that on its own slide. This is going to be some bullet points, so we can put that on its own slide. So I'm gonna go through here and split all of this into its own slide, each into its own slide. These uh, images here, these are gonna go under their own slide. That way we know, hey, we need to put some graphics here. I like putting these dashes in because then uh, we know exactly where the slides are gonna be split. And we don't accidentally make mistakes and put stuff on the wrong slides and we gotta figure it out and it's annoying. So this works great. Okay, so we got a slide at the beginning and a slide at the end and now we look good. Let's move on to step number two which is edit the title to something descriptive. Okay, so currently there's no title so we can go up here and add this. Sermon notes, crap, <laughs> don't hit enter. Okay, well, now we're gonna start over for the third time. Okay, I am not gonna hit enter this time, but step number two, edit title to something descriptive. I picked something descriptive. So step number three, rename slide labels to scripture reference. Okay, so basically what we're talking about here is I'm gonna copy the scripture reference and I'm gonna delete it. And now on the slide, I'm gonna right click, go to label, edit label, paste in the scripture reference, and now hit enter. Perfect. Okay, so basically what this is gonna do is, let's, uh, let me just split a couple of these for example. So you can see here, it, it carried it over across all the slides. So like we were talking about, that's gonna be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go down through the rest of the scripture references and just delete these and then add the label to the slide. So there is this other feature here called group. So if I copy the scripture and I right click on slide number 13 and I go to group, edit group, and I paste this in, it's instead of just labeling the current slide, it's gonna label all the slides after that, the grouping. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on this, go to edit label. I'm gonna paste in the scripture on the label instead of the group. And now I can right click, go to group and ungroup. Yeah, that's much better. Ungroup those. Uh, let's see here, Philippians, copy that. Get the formatting right on 15, label, edit, paste. Brilliant. Okay, cool. 
I think that's pretty much it for the, uh, the slides and the labels. So now we can move on to step number four, which is split scripture slides into one verse per slide. So we'll start up here and continue, I guess, up here. I'm just going to go to four, five. I like to say these out loud as I'm splitting these up because it helps me to not forget anything. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I know you got a cool time lapse, but we're all done on that one. Uh, let's move down here to uh, Hebrews. There's just two scriptures here, so we'll split that into two slides. Down into Philippians 6 and 7, we'll split that into two slides. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, this is a notes bit here. We'll split that up. And this is all good. Uh, you can see I've got my images in here that they wanted on the slide, so I've got just put the titles and the names in there. And down here we've got a video that we're going to play. We'll end up deleting these, this slide text later, but for now it's just in there as a reference so we know where to put stuff. I've got a slide in the beginning and end. So something else I did is I went ahead and selected Big Boy as my theme for this. So that's going to help me uh, just the text be bigger and help me see everything properly. Okay, so we are good to go. Step number five is import the slide. So I'll just hit the import button on the top right. You could also hit enter. Yeah, we know that. Aye, aye, aye. Step number six, apply macros. So we're going to start applying the macros that we created. So uh, the first one we need is our sermon full. And I'm going to use this as my sermon title image because I don't know where the sermon graphic has gone. So here's my full screen. Now, if I click on the next slide, you can see that's a problem. It's not formatted correctly. So we need to go ahead and add our look, our sermon scriptures. And now when I click on it, it looks perfect. Cool. And that looks good, yeah. Um, on our output, you might wanna go and add the, a green background if you're gonna key it into a video switcher, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, so we've got that. And again, in ProPresenter, nothing changes in ProPresenter unless something changes in ProPresenter. So when I get to the end of the scripture, when I click on the next slide, it doesn't look right because there's no scripture reference because it's not a scripture slide. So I'm gonna drag our notes look macro into here and that'll look good for the four of those and then these two, and then this one, and then this is an image. So for this one, we're gonna drag our full screen graphic into here, and then we'll do the same thing for the next image, and then we can actually drag our images into here. And I, like I said, that text is a placeholder, so I can right click and edit the slide, and now I'll just go in here and delete these text boxes. Beautiful, and now I'll go back to show. Cool, so those text boxes, and now we'll go on to the next scripture, and I'm just gonna add the scripture. Scripture, scripture, notes, scripture, notes, scripture, and then that scripture persists into that one, and then this is a full screen because this is a video, and I'll go ahead and get that messed with later and get that all set up. Okay, cool. Well, those are our notes. So step number seven, click through and confirm everything works as expected. I'm just gonna click through all of these slides. Okay, everything looks good. So one of the other things I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna copy this title image slide. And every time that we finish up with a group of uh, scriptures or a note, I'm gonna paste this in. I realize this is not the correct title slide, but you get the idea. This way, when our operators are clicking through the slides, they can, you know, They'll go through these four and then they'll go back to the title image and then they'll go to these two and then they'll go back to the title image, et cetera, et cetera, all the way through the sermon notes. My goal with this video was simply to look at the fundamentals of how looks work, how themes work, and how to set up sermon notes in this way. You might want to go through and make another look that allows you to take the full screen graphic off of the stream. That way you can send the output to a switcher and the only time something comes up is when there is actual content on the switcher. The other look you might want to create is a look for bullet points inside of sermon notes. That way you can change the theme that gets used for those bullet point notes. Well, that is the full process of setting up sermon notes this way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. My goal here is to help teams and individuals do church and event production with excellence. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.